friends, welcome back to the sawmill. It's Monday, you got some more white pine on here. We're gonna be doing one by tens on this. I've cut this down to about eight and a half feet in length. I need about 40 of these to finish out the ceiling on the timber frame. And if the weather holds off this week, maybe by Wednesday or Thursday, me and dad will get this finished and start putting the metal on. So some good things happen this week as long as the weather cooperates with us. So stick here with me friends, it's gonna be a pretty good day. We're gonna try something different. I'm running some diesel in my lubrication tank today to keep the blade clean. I've noticed here lately on Pine, I've had a lot of buildup on the blade and the blade guide rollers. And a lot of people do run diesel as a form of lubrication to keep their blade clean, especially in Pine. And I've never tried it. I've seen it done a few times and it works really well the times I've seen it done. But I thought we'd try that today because the last two or three logs I've done up here have been white pine and they just had so much pitch on them, the blade guide rollers have trouble even turning sometimes. Let me address one quick thing here, guys, before the comment section explodes about diesel being all over the floor. I've been around a lot of wood misers in my life, friends, and a lot of guys run diesel for softwoods, and you don't have to use a whole lot. You know, I use the uh, lube miser system. I'll turn it down on the lowest setting it has. And it's not going to make a mess. It's no worse than you have when you put ATF fluid on the rails right here and it drips off. There's sawdust on the floor. It's going to absorb any kind of overspray or anything like that. Even if you have a dust collection system, which I don't have here, you're still going to have sawdust and bark falling everywhere on the floor. It doesn't get all of it. You know, this is a sawmill. There's sawdust flying everywhere. So any kind of overspray that you have with diesel, even with the all matte transmission fluid that we put on the rails right here and the WD-40 stuff that I use in the chain, it all gets absorbed by the sawdust. There's no mess or nothing like that. And also it does not make a mess on your lumber. You know, it's, it's not getting soaked on there, just a little bit of a spray on the blade, just enough to keep it clean. So let's get the sawmill going here, friends. And one more thing, before we make our one by 10 cuts, after we square up this cant, I'll cut the sawmill off We'll go take a close up view of the blade guide rollers and the blade and see how that diesel's doing. It should be just fine. Famous last words, but uh, I've been around a lot of sawmills guys that run diesel and I was always amazed at how clean the blade was kept on stuff like pine. So hopefully we'll have those same results here today. Hang in there with me. friends right there is the blade after four cuts on some white pine and i'm pretty happy with those results i've never had a blade look that clean after sawing pine even with the lube miser going at full speed right there that diesel does a great job at keeping your blade clean look at that 
Very nice.